Filthy Gaijin Reviews. She-Hulk. I am El Cid. Baki. DK. At least I think that's what our names are. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a long time. Anyway, uh, uh, what a great uh, product to, to come back to. We really wanted to come back to something special, you know, amazing. It is what it is. So we're here with this great show that everyone loves. No one has anything bad to say about. And like uh, Mark uh, Ruffalo said, uh, yeah, if you don't like the show, you're racist. And you hate women. Yeah, you're racist, white supremacist. You, you uh, gotta pick one, though. Anti-LGBTQ, P. Yeah, but who, who's <laughs> really out there that's like racist, sexist, and like hates like any type of minority? Like, and, like, like what, what if, so if you're a woman, you, you're also all those things? No, no, no. no what it, if you're like a black woman? My, my favorite is that if, if you actually are, right, uh, racist, sexist, and all those other things... Uh, you're definitely on Disney Plus watching this. Yeah. It's like, remember when Juicy Smollett is like, he was walking down like Chicago. Yeah. And uh, they said, uh, you're that from uh, Empire or whatever. And it was yeah, two yeah. white guys with the MAGA hats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they called him the F word and the N word. Yeah. And they said, you're from that show Empire. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like, to quote Dave Chappelle, he's like, uh, that's not something uh, two Trump supporters would say. He's no. Like, According to Dave Chappelle, he's like, that's something I would say. <laughs> <laughs> the whole point is the people that they're reacting to don't watch this shit to begin with. No, 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 not at all. Yeah, so uh, that's all you really need to know about that. Yeah, no, the, the super racists are not on uh, you know, Disney Plus watching these uh, liberal shows. Yeah. They're yeah, just yeah. like, this is stupid. No, they're, they're out, they're out uh, doing other shit, but like, not this. Honestly, one of the worst shows of all time. Also, this is not the worst show. Rings of Power isn't out yet. That's fact. That's, that's true. We, we may have to remake this in the, another week when Rings of Power is out. But uh, until then, this very funny, not obnoxious, not uh, repulsive. Not uh, good looking. You, you can. You, we, we're not going to Google anything, by the way. No, we, this doesn't deserve that type of effort. No, no, no. So you already know this was written by women and directed by women, just by the way it was made. This is written by like alcoholic women with uh, probably like three or four diagnosable, diagnosable personality and mental disorders. Yeah. Uh, probably had no fathers, no Co brothers. Couple of cats. They're they're probably single. A lot and, of cats. Yeah. They're single in their late thirties and early forties. No children. No, no, their children are like their three plants that are also slowly dying in their yeah. apartments. Yes. And uh, it's just very sad. Don't forget their dyed hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 these, they don't remember what color their hair actually is. Y you know it's true that women who, like, don't have children have more health issues? Yeah, of course. Isn't that fascinating? What does that, what does that tell you about the human body? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's well, act, uh, again, in a way, when I really think about it, it's not fascinating at all. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, no, they think they're the healthy ones out there with their lattes and then into drinking yeah, at night. Yeah, yeah, two, two bottles of wine a night just to fall asleep. You're real healthy and your Xanax and all your other drugs. No, but their career, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, one of my favorite parts, we're not going to go, like, in order. We're just going to jump around. Yeah, no, don't. One of my favorite parts is that at one point when uh, uh, Mark Ruffalo is telling her that uh, she can't be, she has to be, like, a superhero now. She's like, no, I, have, I help people in my own way by being, like, a fucking lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's one thing the world doesn't have enough of is lawyers. Yeah, no, she needs to save the world by, uh, you know, whatever kind of lawyer she is. She yeah, is. don't they know they have Daredevil for that? Like, what's the, they, yeah! Well, no, there's, there's literally one superhero who, who does it better. And he's blind. And he's blind. Yeah. And a man. But also, again, this goes to the mindset. A lot of these women, all they have is their, like, little office job, and they have to think that it's, like, good. They have to think that when they work for, like, you know... Um, Corporal Azure Facts LLC in this like windowless office building yeah. where all they do is just like forward emails to each other and attend like web conference calls. Yeah. That that's like noble. Yeah. No, no one can tell you what they do, sell, or make or what, the, but it's, it's no, it's good. She's helping people. She's helping people. She's helping people by like uh, billing hospital patients or whatever the fuck. Oh, really important career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, honestly, legit. Like, I think like the typical like McDonald's like burger server does more objective good for the world. Like, yeah, they the, feed the world. The joy, the joy you get from McDonald's burger is like just so much higher than anything she does as a lawyer. Yeah. What the fuck is up with Mark Ruffalo? How is he a thing? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. How is he a thing? He's he's like a, he's like drunk even when he's sober. Yeah. And his whole he doesn't act. No. He's the same guy in everything. It's just kind of a goofy persona. It's Kermit the Frog sounding. Yeah. You know, like just, he just mumbles. I don't like it. I, I never liked his casting. It, it worked casting. originally because he was such a small part of those Avengers movies that it, it, you're like, all right, I like everything else, but he sucks. But I'll say, also, they just screwed Hulk over so bad in these movies. Hulk doesn't exist anymore. No, no, no. This is just uh, Mark Ruffalo. He's a Marvel character now. The Hulk was interesting. The actual Hulk, like, 
as Bruce Banner or what? He's not better than Norton. Or the last he, guy. Or, or Eric, Eric Banner. Banner. Or, or, uh, or Lou Ferrigno. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lou Ferrigno is a better actor than him. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Lou Ferrigno yeah. also speaks less goofy English. <laughs> I, I, I'd rather hear I'd rather hear Lou Ferrigno, you know, who's a deaf mute, than, <laughs> <laughs> than, than, than hear Mark Ruffalo mumble. Oh, for sure. Uh, uh, again, I, I have to confess. Uh, so, as, as uh, women haters, uh, which you guys think we are, we're the ones who secretly wrote this episode. Because I think, you know, this couldn't have been written by a person who actually, like, approves of women. No. It's like a bunch of these just obnoxious like prostitutes. They go up to her to like yes. put makeup on her when she clearly looks like she's just gotten the fuck beaten out of her. Yeah. No, no. You call the police when, when you see a woman looking like the way Bloodied, she Bloodied, clothes torn. Yeah, and then she's like, oh, she must have been raped. Yeah. <laughs> but They're like, yo, you need this fur coat and makeup. Yeah. Because your pimp is going to come back. He wants you looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All I want to point out though is when she becomes She-Hulk, uh, her face gets a little smoother and her hair gets straight. Make of that what you will. Yeah, what does that mean? I don't know. I'm not the one who made the show. Yeah, why? Why does her f- face get better looking? Is, is, is it the fantasy of the women who uh, made this? I don't know. You yeah. decide. I, I can't tell. All I know is she's extremely autistic, and uh, I, we should get to the second, the next point then. Uh, How she's stronger, smarter, and better than the well, original. I, I'm just gonna call this uh, men, men slash Western civilization hating. Okay. Because uh, obviously everyone knows by now, like all the anti men stuff in this, how she's better than the Hulk at everything, how uh, she's smarter and gets the last word, even though she's just some dumb lawyer and he's like an elite scientist. But let's, let's yeah, put yeah. that all aside. The real quote, the one that's uh, sort of like, you know, it shocked even us. Yeah. I and mean, we're hard to shock. We've seen some shit in our time. She's like, no, being a superhero is for billionaires, narcissists, and adult orphans. Uh, what do we. Uh, what do we make it? How, how that make you feel? I don't know. I, it, it's just like I feel nothing at this point. It's, it's like it's you're so dead, dead inside. inside. Like, wait, so that, that, that's what you think heroes are? Like, yeah, yeah. No, comic books are 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 just losers. They're billionaires, narcissists, and yeah. adult orphans. Yeah, yeah. Like, because you know, like you know, all those people that in this universe they've saved the world. All that. That's not. No, no, no. You shouldn't like comic books. I think at one point she even says to him, "Are you quoting a comic book at me?" Because yeah. you know, oh, like, why and, would you do that? And she called to Captain America Virgin. No, like no, 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 She no. called Steve Rogers. Yeah, yeah, Steve Rogers, Rogers. They, yeah. they don't call him Captain America because uh, you know he's uh, not Captain America uh, anymore. Because uh, what's his face? Uh, Papa Doc. From yeah, Papa Doc from Eight Mile. Mile. Yeah, yeah. He quit rapping after Eminem killed him. Yeah, he really, <laughs> really uh, redid his life. It has. She has like a family reunion. Yeah. And uh, her family's all there, and they're all obviously you know because family's bad. Right? Yes, family's bad. Family's awful. They're all like, um, yeah. They're they're even more autistic than she is. Of course. They're just, you know, ruining everything. She has a cousin named Chad. Yeah, yeah. Who does not look like a Chad. No, no, no. But he's, you know... No, no, but he, he, he looks like a moron, though. So, you yeah, know, yeah. obviously anyone who's Chad is also an idiot. Yeah, did you notice that the, the Matrix, if you remember that awful movie, the, the new one, they did that too, where, like, yeah. the, the fake husband of uh, Trinity, yeah, she was, was also named Chad. Chad, yeah. It's like, it's like it's some Freudian thing. It's right on their brains, right on the tips of their tongues. It's, it's so goofy. And, uh, no, so he's, he's awful. The whole, the whole family's awful. Again, though, I think it's a double meaning behind this. I think the, the real ultra right wing, uh, hidden writer of this yeah. was just trying to show that her entire genetic bloodline is just so garbage. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only thing responsible for this no, in, in, bad in, blood. Yeah. yeah mm. uh, if you, if you don't look deeply into this, you know, brilliant writing like we do, you would just assume that the writer's saying that family is shit. All that really matters is your shitty career at the yeah, office yeah, yeah, yeah. as a woman who's like almost forty. You know, and if you yeah, you would you would buy into this false messaging, but we just see that she's a genetic reject, a spiteful mutant. Yeah, it should be long. from from a, yeah from just a, a an ignoble bloodline. Yeah, 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 and like in the old world, she would have been like an outcast peasant that the family has to like lock in the basement to not embarrass them. Yeah, they just hide her away. Probably just sell her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Might just go, you know, clean someone's, uh, you know, cottage yeah, yeah. somewhere. Nah, you, you throw her down a well. Live, with, live with the horses and shit. Yeah, it's uh, this is animal. It's, it's, it's just I mean, I, honestly, I would confuse her as a horse. Probably start, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it, you literally need to use CGI to make her good looking. <laughs> it's one of those things, bro. Oh no, no. I just like the the only good male in this show is literally the uh, Hispanic uh, fat bartender named Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Who <laughs> gives her more of her happy juice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said something like, "Oh, uh, people who have a lot of power, you know, they have uh, a lot to answer for." It's like, bitch, 
Uncle Ben doesn't even have a high school education. He said it better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I'm, I'm done with this stupid shit. No, no. Uncle Ben's like a taxi driver or whatever he was. He, <laughs> he's like a mechanic. Yeah, Uncle, Uncle Ben had an ADIQ and he still said it better. <laughs> Uncle Ben inspired like the third best hero of your universe, bitch. Yeah. Like, like, that's it. They could have probably made a movie, but they're like, no one's going to go watch this. Yeah. No one's going to. The, the, the Marvel is basically like... Going through, you know, D-list heroes now. They're out. They're out of ideas. Yo, but uh, refresh my memory. In the first Avengers movie, when uh, he turns into the Hulk and falls out of the sky. Yeah. So he lands as the Hulk. Yes. Obviously, then once he's knocked out, he reverts back to Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. He was naked, right? Like, the farmer found him yeah, completely yeah, yeah. naked. Naked, yes. Naked. Yes. So how come when she transforms, her clothing is barely, like, even damaged? Her clothes are PC, that's why. <laughs> they need her consent to, like, get off. Remember that scene where she's negotiating? With her new boss for the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't ask about salary. She doesn't ask about any of the details of how and why she'll be working. She's just like, can I hire that uh, prostitute who works with me? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm sorry. Yeah, her, her paralegal, you, you, you're like, who's definitely like slept with every lawyer in town. She dresses weird, like... Like a, like a prostitute. Yeah, like, it's weird. It's weird. She, like, like one of those women who's like a... a, a this is a leftover at like every bar. Yeah, yeah. Like it's four a.m. and everyone's going home. There's only like five people left. Yeah, you know, it's just. And no one took her home because they already did. Yeah. And so it's a new guy's turn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a real town bicycle. She goes up to this uh, CEO. She's like, I, I get to hire my own paralegal. It's like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. She's like, you could hire anybody. Yeah, it's like bizarre. But this is why women earn less money than men. It's because of decisions like this. Yep. Good. Didn't negotiate at all. No, 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 no. no Absolutely pay not. or nothing. No, no. And then, no. And then they get they get to the office and they have a little mini fridge and the desk. They're like, oh my god, this is incredible. Yeah, but like again, like we have that. Yeah, we have both of those things. <laughs> we don't have uh, you know some office lawyer job. No, we're in a third world country right now and we have we have this. Yeah, yeah. Insane. Zimbabwe. <laughs> 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 That's where we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's so funny about that? No, deal with it. Deal, deal with it. You guys mad? Well, are you guys racist? Yeah, no. We're African. How yeah. do you feel? More, more African than you. Yeah. We, we Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're mad excited for that. Yeah, we're, forever. We're, we're more Black Panther than Chadwick Boseman. Because he dead. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. 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 Got him.